Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by and today I'm going to show you one of my new favorite things. It's another cat ears hack for my Eevee but this one is my reversible interlock. This one I made with Lion Brand's ice cream roving and this one is called Bit of Honey. Look at those great colors. For the brim I did with Yarn Bees Cotton at Lin in Sulphur. Sulphur is a terrible name. It's like a goldenrod kind of a color. What I am going to show you today with a different one that I just love this one too. This is Yarn Bees Chloe and this one is Jade Taffeta. All these wonderful shades of green. I love this. And I love this cotton for the brim. Then you'll need a four and your favorite four and your favorite six millimeter hooks. And then you want one of your just regular old kind of hooks so that we can make a no twist in my chain. So let's get started. I'm going to start by making the brim. The brim is really easy. They are two separate pieces. We're going to start with I love this cotton. This one is called Serene Spa. It's just kind of a dusty green. I'm going to chain 85 but we also don't want a twist in our chain because we will be working in the round. So we're going to chain out with my four millimeter plain hook. Start chaining one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to take down to the bottom and slip through my first chain so that I don't get a twist in my chain. And then I'm going to continue out to 85. So I'll meet you back here as soon as I have 85 chains. That was five. I have chained and I still have my original very first chain is on here. So I'm just going to take my hook and slip stitch through here or slip it through here and chain one. And now we're going to work around in a circle all the way around our big circle. This is the brim of our hat with our four millimeter hook. We are going to turn our chain over and work in these little back bumps. One single crochet in each little back bump all the way around which should be, mark my first stitch, which will be 84 single crochets. So there's one and two and I'll meet you in just a minute when I have all 84 of mine done. And there's number 84. Now you just want to double check, make sure you don't have a twisted chain or a twisted first row and then slip stitch into your first marked stitch. And chain one and you pull that out. Now you can get your get rid of this guy and go to your favorite four millimeter hook. And I'm using one of my pink tulips today. I just love my pink tulips. So we have slip stitch to our first stitch and now all the way around we're going to make double crochets. So I did my chain one here and right into the same mark spot that I have marked with my orange marker I'm going to put a double crochet. And now let's move our marker to the top of that stitch and all the way around we want 84 double crochets and I'll meet you back at my marker in just a second because we get to work all the way around. 82, 83 and there's my last one is 84. And I'm going to mark that stitch too so I know exactly where front the first and the last are and there's the starting of our brim. Yay! We're going to slip stitch into our first mark stitch again and chain one more. So now we have the base for our ribbing. Now we get to do ribbing. It's really easy ribbing too. So I'm going to take my marker out and what we want to do we are going to make this ribbing which is front post and back post double crochets. So take this whole area here, you yarn over, go under this post, yarn over, pull up and then finish a double crochet. And then I'm going to mark him. So that's a front post double crochet. Now we're going to do another one just like that. Go find the next post right here, go under that post, grab your yarn, pull up and double crochet. Now that's two front post double crochets in a row. Now we're going to change it to back post double crochets. So you find that next post but you go from behind, 
put your hook in front of it like that and then do your double crochet. Grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two and pull through two. And we're going to do that again. Yarn over, back post double crochet, come in from behind, go over your post with your hook, pull through and double crochet. So we're going to do that all the way around, alternating two front, two back, two front, two back. So here's another front post double crochet. Come in from the front and go under. And this one you come in from the back and go over your post. So you can see our ribbing. Two front, two back, two front, two back. I do that all the way around. Alrighty, and here's my last set of two and two. Two front post double crochets. There's one and two. And then there's the very last two stitches, and those are both back post double crochets. Go around the post. Yay! That round is done. I'm going to take out my marker and mark that last stitch just because it's easy to find. And there you go, there's the second round. So you can see they're stacked. All right now we slip stitch into our first stitch like we did before and chain one and we're going to repeat that one more time so that we can make our ribbing that looks like this. Remember there were three rounds of that ribbing. Take this out. All right, remember here's your first post. So go behind your post for a front post double crochet and mark that stitch and do another one and go back post double crochet two of those and there you can see everything is starting to stack it's getting taller we've got our ribbing and that makes it nice and stretchy that's what we're doing right here. We want a total of three rounds of that. So this is round two of our ribbing. So we have front post, double crochet, front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, back post, double crochet. And you do that all the way around until you have three total rounds of the front post, back post, back and forth and I will meet you when I have my third row done. Alrighty, here's my last two back post double crochets of my ribbing. There's one and here's my last one. And that's two. Hooray! The ribbing is done. Slip stitch into our orange marker chain one and now I want to put a single crochet in every one of these top stitches all the way around for 84 single crochets. And there's number one and I'm going to mark that stitch and let's do 84 all the way around. Right in the top of each one of these stitches a single crochet to make a nice finished edge and I will meet you at the blue marker. And there's 83 and 84. Yay! Our ribbing is done. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to take out that marker. I'm going to mark it with a different marker because I want to use those ones again. So I'm just going to use my little pinkies. And I'm going to come over and slip stitch into this first stitch. I'll just finish that off and pull it through. And now I'm going to mark this first stitch. It's also with the pinky because these are my favorite stitch markers and I'll be using those again in a second. So there is our ribbing for our hat and just make sure it fits around your head. And it is the same as this. All right we're going to finish our hat now. Yay we get to actually make the hat. Remember we made this little square. This tutorial is in a different video. probably find it right about here. This shows all the detail for doing diagonal interlock that is reversible. 
this you need to know. Hopefully you practice this a lot because now we're going to jump right in to making the hat. Remember it was three high, one, two, three, and by 14 all the way across. Well I've done this bottom row is 14, the middle one is 13, and the top one is 10 because I'm not quite done yet. So we have to fold this piece. We're going to slip, slip stitch this together as we go. So we'll go through here and through the other side and just do a slip stitch. So we, just like you were finishing this off, but we're going through both pieces so that we can get up to our next working area for our square. Alright, so now we're connected right here. So we're starting to make this into a circle. So it'll be round hat. We won't have a big seam all the way up. We're just doing that as we go. So now I'm going to go into the next stitch and just grab it, slip stitch, and now we'll start our square. One, two, three, four, five loops, plus this one over here that sometimes gets really tight. So I have seven loops on my hook. Pull through two, pull through two, all the way back down until you only have one loop left on your hook. Just like that. And now we want to slip stitch into the next stitch again on the opposite side just to get these guys connected. Now we're going to do row two. One, two, three, four, five, and jump over here. There's six. So there's seven loops on our hook. And then do our pull through twos. So we have one loop left on our hook. And just like we did before, go over to that other side because we're slip stitching this closed as we go. Just do a little slip stitch and then move on to our next row of interlock. Go underneath all of our vertical bars, all five. And then the next one on our completed square, seven loops on our hook. Pull through two, all the way down until you have one loop left on your hook. Partial square. We have to go back over to the other side and just do a quick slip stitch just to keep them connected. And do our next row under our vertical bars. One, two, three, four, five, and then one on our completed square, seven loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through two all the way back until we have one loop left on our hook. So there's a row four. One, two, three, well, there's our fourth row, so we need one more. So just go to that other side and do a slip stitch. Get them connected. See how we're connected now? Go underneath all of our vertical bars again. One, two, three, four, five, and our sixth one is on our completed square. Yarn over and pull through two all the way back. By this time you should be very fast at these little squares. And that was one, two, three, four, five. There's our fifth row. So we need to go over here and slip stitch again to our other side to keep them together. And then finish the top with our slip stitches like we did on all of the other ones, but not too tight. Slip stitch 
every vertical bar. So that would be five. And the next one on our finished square. And there's our slip stitch. There we go. Now they're connected on this side, which is very cool. We don't have to make a seam of that later. And now we just make another internal square. So we pull up all of our loops until we have seven on our hook. And remember this one right here sometimes can get really tight, so don't miss it. Now I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Until we have one left. And complete another five by five square. They're all five by five squares, 13 tall, 14 wide, and then there's one. And with a six millimeter hook. And we'll do that again. Pull up six. Including one on our square. Seven loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. And here's my last one. This is row five. And there's a fifth row. But remember this hollow on top. We have to close that out with our slip stitches under a slip stitch under every vertical bar. plus the next stitch available on our square, on our completed square. There we go. So we're almost done. We have one square left. Only one square left, but we're over here. We need to be over here. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch across. And I made that stitch a little tight. See what happens when you make it too tight? It's hard to work back into these again. So just get down to the end. So you're at your next starting spot with my slip stitches. And now we have to close this up with our very last little square. Make another internal square. Remember this little one sometimes gets stuck. Seven loops on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, under every vertical bar, we're making another five by five square. And there's my fifth one. All right, row five, and then we have to complete it with our slip stitches across the top. And there's that one. And one more, remember, off to the side on our completed square. So we just finished our last square, but it's not connected. So all we have to do is do slip stitch all the way down, just like we did 
over here we're trying to catch these along the way. Now we just slip stitch everything together. So we'll go through the first square and the other square and slip stitch. And there we go. Slip stitch everything together. So now it is round. Hooray! Technically now, even though it's reversible, this is, I consider, the inside because of this little seam. So what we want to do is turn it the other way so the seam is on the inside. So you know, you can barely noticeable at all get our loop back on our hook and we want to prepare the top and the bottom edges for making our ears and attaching our brim. So what we want to do, we want to do a chain one and evenly single crochet all the way around 84 single crochets. So you just do that evenly one and I'm going to mark that first stitch and I'm going to count all the way around evenly to 84. So generally that would be six on each square and they're just single crochets. Six on each of your squares is 84. Six times 14 is 84. So we're just going to do that all the way around and I'll meet you back here at my stitch marker when I get all 84 done. There's 83 and 84. I'm going to just slip stitch that one closed. Now you'll have even stitches all the way around the top. You know you have 84 all the way around. That will work together very nicely. It'll be very easy to find when it's time to close up your hat. All right, so we want to move our seam off to the side, even though it's barely going to show off to the side, it really won't show. So we'll keep the side over here. We can put our six millimeter hook away, get up something that is slim all the way down or a Tunisian hook or whatever, four millimeter. Now I do find it helpful if I mark this last stitch, which I forgot to do. Oh no, just so it's easy to grab. So we're going to chain one with our four millimeter hook and go through this first stitch and through that other one we just marked. Since they're so close together, it could be hard to find. And we're going to single crochet those together. Go through both of them and single crochet together. And we can take those out. And get them out of your way. This stitch and through the other side. And single crochet. We'll do that for the first 12. I'm going to mark this first one in case I need to count go through here and through the other side. So we're closing this up with a single crochet. Closing up the top of our hat. See we're just going through both sides. Easy peasy. Just regular old single crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six more. We want to do 12 total. There's seven, eight, and eleven, and number twelve. Now this next part is really interesting. This is going to be single crochet 18 together. Yes, single crochet 18 together. So our next 18 stitches on both sides are going to end up on this hook. That's why if you're using one of these with the little with the little throat here, time to go and get something else. Get one that has no grip 
and get or get a Tunisian that's nice and long. So we're going to go through this first one right here and the one on the other side. Yarn over and pull that loop up on your up on your hook. Now we're going to do that again through this stitch and through that other side like that. We're just going to do that for 18 stitches. And I'll meet you when you get all 18 of your stitches on your hook. There's 17 and there's 18. See, look at all those I have on my hook. All those at once. Yikes. It could work with another hook, but I like it to do this way just so I don't have them too cramped. Now we're going to do all 18, all 18 of these together. So we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Might take a second just to be gentle to get all the way through, all the way through, and now chain one to finish that chain one to close. And pull that nice and tight. They just made a huge gather, which is right here. It might take you a couple of times to try that one to get it to work. It might take a couple of tries. But remember, it was 18 together. We're going to single crochet just like we did on this side. We did 12 here, gathered 18 in the middle, and now we're going to do 12 more here, and I'll meet you down at this end. Pull that nice and tight. Go into your next usable stitch. Your next unworked stitch and single crochet. Through both sides. Eleven and there's the last one. Those two are next to each other so they're a little bit tricky but there is number twelve. So now it's all kind of poofed together here on the inside. We're just going to finish this off. Finish that off snip. Now the ears are done. Now remember this is all on the inside because this is showing a little bit more than we want it to. We want it to look a little bit more like that. So we'll turn it around and poof out these ears. Make it look how you want. And there's the top of the ears. It just automatically kind of points itself up because we gathered so much in the center that these are just starting to point up without having to do anything special. So now all we have to do is attach the ribbing. Turn this over, get our yarn again so we can go back to a favorite four hook and just go over to the edge, fasten back on again. And we're going to do the same that we did on the top, 84 evenly all the way around. So we'll get a nice finished edge like right here. 84 evenly, which is six for each square all the way around. And I'll meet you back here as soon as I have my 84 done. 83 and this last one get a little bit tight on me. And 84. There we made it all the way around and now slip stitch. To our first stitch. And there you go. Now we have a beautiful edge on the bottom and a beautiful edge on these so that we can join them together. Now we have that slip stitch together. We can finish this one off. We're going to go back to our ribbing color. Turn our hat inside out. Again, so your poofy ears are going to be on the inside. We can take our markers out of here. And you really don't have much of a seam on here at all. So you can place that wherever you want. I just try to put the seams together. All right, so then we place the ribbing inside. Remember, right, puffy ears are in there. Back to our cotton yarn that we originally made our ribbing with. And we're going to fasten that on. Somewhere near the seam is where I start, but it really doesn't matter. We're going to go through both pieces of the hat and through the back loop only. of the ribbing. 
So again, that is go through both loops of the hat and through the back loop only of the ribbing. We're going to fasten this back on again. So going through that same stitch again and a single crochet. And I'm going to mark that stitch. So again, under both stitches of the hat and the back loop only of the ribbon. Just like that all the way around. See, by doing all of this stitches that we just did, it makes it so much easier to make it even when we put that little border edge on. So we're under both loops of this one and the back loop only all the way around 84. 84 single crochets. Just like this and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Here's my last two stitches. Under both and then this is back loop only. I can take this guy out. I don't need him anymore. And my very last stitch under both and back loop only and single crochet very nice and now we just go over to our very first stitch that we marked with the blue over here and slip stitch and finish that off pull this through nice and tight get those out and now we can put this back right side out. We have a few ends to weave in, but that's no hard, that's not a hardship. We do that all the time anyway. But now it's inside out. Whew. Poof out the corners again. Make your ears look cute. There you go. Isn't he adorable? Just weave in your ends and your hat is ready to wear. Remember I have a scarf and mittens that match coming up very, very soon. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.